Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm here to make a video on how to correctly convert your GTK Record My Desktop uh, files, which are in .ogv format, uh, to get them to load correctly to YouTube and also if you need to cut some time off of them here or there. For example, I only have 15 minutes that I'm allotted on YouTube for my videos and in the beginning before that it was just 10 so sometimes some of my tutorials went over the 10 minute mark and the 15 minute mark so I've always had to cut things off of them and when I would use different programs like Kden Live or uh, P P I T I V I uh, and lives I will lose quality in my videos. Well I found out one way that I can do this without losing the quality of the OGV form format, the original format. Uh, and that's to do, to do this. I use a program that's called DVD. Now this is after I have saved the OGV file to the desktop. I will click on the DVE program and then I will scroll to the bottom and click DIVX MPEG4. After that, I will simply just drag and drop the OGV format in there, and then all I will do is I will not change anything, and I will just hit, you know, look at the options. Anyway, anyway, I will just go ahead and hit uh, forward, and then it will ask me if I want to save uh, this conversion to the desktop in a folder called movie, and I'm going to go ahead and tell it sure. Now, usually this takes about as long as uh, time is on the video. So if it's a minute long video, it takes a minute to do this. Now, if your video is not really, really uh, long, then this is the best way to upload it straight to YouTube. And you have not lost any uh, clarity in the file at all. And I'll show you this in just a second. Okay, I'm going to close this down. It asked me if I want to abort. I've already completed the conversion, so I'm going to say yes. Okay, let me open up the movie folder. I'll drag and drop this right here. Now, let's look at these two. Now, here is the video from the OGV file. I'm going to click on it so you can see how clear it is. All right. Now, look, I'm full screen it. Now, you see how clear this is? Very clear. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the AVI that I created with DVE. Okay. I'm going to show you its clarity. That way, you can surely see that no quality has been lost. Okay, very clear. Alright, now I'm done. Now, let's just say that I've got a problem, my video is too long, then the program that I'm going to use to chop off some time, maybe in the beginning or maybe somewhere in the middle or somewhere like that, um, you know, I just need to shorten it down because I went over my 10 minutes or I went over my 15 minutes for YouTube. Then I want to use a program, I'm going to get rid of this folder, I want to use a program called I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's uh, Avid uh, Mix or Mux. So I'm going to click on that. Sorry for the uh, incorrect pronunciation, so don't get mad at me. Okay. Next thing I'll do is I will drop the AVI into here. It's going to ask me if I want to uh, build the VBR timestamp. I'm going to say build it. Okay. And there that is. It's uh, it's you know already loaded it in there for us. Now one thing that I have problems with is you know when you start clicking in here things start jumping around uh, and it gets aggravating at first but you try to get used to it. Alright but I need to change the view size of this so I can get to everything that I need to get to. So I'm going to go to view. Now notice when I clicked on view or anything at the top it jumps on me. So I'm going to just keep the mouse where it's at and click one more time. Boom there it is. I want to change it to a zoom of one to two. Now that will shrink it down and then I, you don't see anything at the bottom, but it's going to click again and it will appear down there. Now, in order to basically find out what you need to get rid of, you will need to basically listen to your file. Like in the beginning, you may have some dead space or whatnot, or in the middle, or maybe at the end, you can cut off some time to, you know, to save from having to redo the whole video. So I'm going to hit play here and I will listen to it. And then I was like, well, I need to get rid of maybe like the first 10 frames here. Okay, so what I will do is I will just move this back and I'll hit play and then I'll pause it at the the 10th frame. And what I will do then is I will come over here and hit this uh, selection end. Okay, boom, there that is. Now notice it highlights that little section there. Next thing that I'm going to do is I want to hit delete. Okay, 
Now notice that the time went down from 14, excuse me, went down from 15 down to 14. Now I can show you that, okay? I'll go back up here and tell it to reset itself. Okay, notice that it's back to 15 seconds here. I'm going to take off 10 frames. So roughly 10 frames is a second, okay? All right, so there, I've, I got 12, okay? So that may not be what I want, but, you know, let me show you what you can do. You know, you stop it, notice it's at 12 again. I need to go back a little bit. You can use these buttons here to force it to go back. Whoops, my bad. Let me go past that again. Right. Pause it. You can use these buttons right here to go back a little bit in time. I'm going to go back to the 10 second mark that I want. I will hit the B selection. It'll highlight it. Then I'll just press the delete button uh, on the uh, keyboard and it deletes it. And notice that my video is now down to 14 seconds versus uh, uh, you know, 15 and it's went down to 14. Now to save this, okay, uh, there was another video that I watched that a guy did this and I cannot remember his name but he was very helpful and he helped me and I gave this a try and it worked for me. So uh, this is what I do, this is what I choose. Uh, up here in the top um, it has auto, okay. What I uh, suggest you to do is find the FLV Okay, click that, and notice it will automatically set these over to the side for you. Okay, so we're pretty much done with that. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is um, click save to save the file, and we need to name the file. So I want to just say, uh, make sure it's going to my desktop, and it is, and I'm just going to call it one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to hit save. Now remember, this is going to be encoded as an FLV, and it tells you everything that it's doing right here. Okay, and um, you should be very happy with the result. I mean, I was. And I'm so happy that I want to make sure that uh, I upload my other videos this way to YouTube if I need to edit them. And this actually goes pretty fast. Now, uh, here's the 666. Now, my bad, I didn't put the dot uh, FLV on there, but that's okay. Now, let's look at the let's look at these three videos again. Here's the FLV that we just created with Avid Mix, and look at it. It is very, 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 very clear. So, I recommend using this. So, um, I hope those of you that have done screencasts in the past and you've been frustrated with uh, GTK because you've actually went over just by a minute or two or a few seconds and you couldn't upload your video because of the time restrictions that this could come in handy for you. Uh, and if all else fails out of all the other converters that I've used and editors, uh, the easiest one, even though you lose a lot of clarity, uh, to use with the OGV file straight itself is the P, uh, P -I -T -I -V -I, uh, video editor. It's actually the best to use with the OGV file because the others do not support it. Anyway, I hope this uh, little tutorial was uh, helpful and um, let me know if it was. Alright.